Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you. It means so much to know that you have our backs. It means everything. I want you to know, we're serious. We're serious about this. We will not be silenced. I got a warrant out for me still that they will not quash. They will not quash. They won't quash Joel's either. Every criminal defense attorney told us not to be here, told us to keep our mouths closed. But we will not be silenced. That's what they want. Let's talk about what this is. Ten days ago, the police launched a coordinated attack that they hoped would silence their political opposition. They arrested us not because we committed any crimes. We all know that is utter garbage, okay? They arrested us because the movement that we've been building the movement that we've been building, demanding justice for Elijah McLean, demanding an end to racist, racist police terror, they haven't seen anything like this in Aurora. They don't know what they're dealing with. They don't like it. They want it to stop. DA Dave Young wants it to stop. That's why DA Dave Young hit us with multiple felony charges. They targeted some of our leaders to scare us and to scare all of you. Every single thing about this was calculated and yeah. orchestrated yeah. to induce the maximum amount of fear. Yeah. Right. Okay? We are facing decades in prison. Decades. Decades in prison. They rolled up on me with a fleet of squad cars. They rolled up on Joel with a tank. They grabbed Eliza from her home and surrounded her husband. They locked us in jail, denying our right to see a judge for eight days. For eight days. That is completely illegal. In COVID, during a pandemic, 23 hours and more a day on lockdown in a cell with nothing. And that's what they're all going through. But we will not stop. When I said that they haven't seen anything like this before, they have not seen anything like this before. They don't know who we are. They miscalculated when they came for us because we are not weaker, we are stronger now. When we all came out last Saturday, we heard you. by seven cell. There are not enough books. It is extremely hard to get your hands on a book. There's no TV. There's no radio. If your cellmate's been through it, she knows how to sleep 20 hours a day. It is basically solitary confinement. We were in a cell, but in a, in a, in a pod with people who are COVID exposed. They don't give you soap in your cell. If you don't have toiletries, you're not going to shower because guess what? You know what they give you? Only disinfectant soap. Only disinfectant soap. And you have to decide with your 40 minutes or sometimes 25 minutes, are you gonna call your family 
Are you going to hear a human voice? Are you going to find out what's going on with your case? Are you going to ask what the fuck is happening? Are you going to shower? You're not going to shower if you only have 40 minutes. You're not going to shower. Okay? how long we were going to be in there because that was not legal. No. We, we weren't sentenced. That wasn't a sentence. No. Okay? We were in there under the custody of the very people we've been challenging. Yeah. Yeah. We had no information. We had no idea how long it would go on. We knew that now that we were in their grip, they were going to punish us and we did not know how far yeah. they would go and the only thing, the only thing that stopped them was this incredible team behind us yeah. watching everything we did. Everything. Thank you, Elizabeth. and degrading yeah. that experience yeah. was. Yeah. And this, <laughs> I have more, I have another warrant than her, okay? So I was scared I was going to be in there, they were going to bond her out, but I wasn't going to ask her anything. I found out, <laughs> Tell what she did. I found out Tell that this girl did. told our lawyer that if they set her bond before mine, that nobody better pay that because she will not leave me in there on my own. <laughs> knowing that we may lose our freedom. That is a force to be reckoned with. And I'm telling you, we need that force still because we still have felonies over our heads, okay? We need you with us. We need you behind us. And we have not forgotten that we still need justice for Elijah McClain. No justice! No peace! No justice! No 